Is there are there any rules? It's fancy caviar from Kroger, so wow, that's it's in salty, there somewhere. Some salty stuff. Uh, yeah, they said refrigerate after opening. Us. Yeah, that's so that's probably good. No, there's enough salt in there. It'll last. It'll last the apocalypse. We made a ravioli from the fish sticks and the breakfast sausage, and then I took the clam chowder and we we liquefied it and added a little lobster gloss, just some lemon juice, and a little Tabasco. We'll let Chef tell us how, just the sauce. How's the sauce? Better than the can. Okay. The, the filling, as it all comes out, you know, it's kind of our surf and turf ravioli, so to speak, but it, it tastes like Thanksgiving stuffing. <laughs> we tried to render the sausage as we were going to put it on top, but it, it, it looks a little too much like fried breadcrumbs. So we're gonna <laughs> and then we took our <coughs> pickles, <coughs> and we made, we made a sauce for biche, you know, a classic French sauce, which is basically cornichons and capers, but we, we used your pickles instead of the cornichons. Did you use all of the pickles? Because you could have used all of them. <laughs> I could have had all the pickles, but I, I'm saving them. Okay. I'm a pickle hoarder. Lobster gloss sauce. Over our raviolis. And then we take our pickle for beef. Just basically add that to the top of this ravioli. Kroger caviar, we're just gonna over, we're gonna toast it over an open flame just at the last minute. Because so it gets rid of some of that salty jar of flavor. <laughs> if you leave it on the open flame, it will dry out and pop up. It starts to it toast. It's still full of shittiness. But <laughs> the jar of that was the one thing I really couldn't figure out what to do with. <laughs> we had the goldfish, we had the grape Gatorade, and we had Swedish fish. Is what I got from John. So, uh, the goldfish are in the bottom. It's like a flavor blasted croquant on the bottom because it's a cheddar goldfish. These things. Uh, I combined them with some real cheddar. Milk chocolate. Tempered some milk chocolate. And made a crust for the bottom. And since we had the grape Gatorade and uh, we're making the crust, I figured like do something like peanut butter and jelly, like grape jelly. So uh, I made a grape uh, gel with this. Uh, so the bottom is that. I made a peanut butter uh, mousse. It's gonna go on it. Delicious. Oh. <laughs> Peanut butter goes with the cheddar crackers, like the nabs, like those little things you get out of the vending machines. So I made it, uh, the Gatorade sorbet <laughs> with the grape. Yes, awesome. yeah, uh, and the grape flavor just keeps on giving. <laughs> and so with the Swedish fish, that was, that one was a tough one because they're incredibly chewy. Like chewy. Uh, and then roll them out and put them in the dehydrator. And then added some sugar to them. Spun them in the cotton candy, they get those better. trying to make a cotton candy. But the best I could get was like a like a sugar, like a twill kind of thing, like a, like this little like pop rocks. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> it is, it's more like a shave ice instead of a sorbet because of the sugar. Yeah. This is a two course meal. It's like purple dye number seven infused Gatorade so, sorbet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's a, little a little more, a little more for. Yeah, for composition. A little, more, a little more Swedish fish. Yes. Here, I'm going to try to go for the full flavor profile. Gatorade is so pissed that they don't already have that product out. Yeah. <laughs> I like Gatorade now.